What is up, everybody? It's Camp and Randy here at ROA, Off-Road RVs America. And today, I'm gonna take a tour of the South Carolina RVs of America showroom. So I'm gonna show you guys what we have in stock. I'm even gonna show you what we have for used units here. This is being filmed at the beginning of October, 2023. So, you know, if you see this video at a later time, it may be different. Behind me is our showroom. It's cool, getting cool out, so we got a little fire pit going. TV, our map where we have everybody from who has bought campers from us. This is our mission statement from Shane. It's awesome. We have our show office and a restroom. Can't ever forget about those. But we have some Patriots that are used, the X145, the Roamer that you see in all the videos out in Utah. This thing actually has the Utah uh, dirt. And when customers who visit come and tour this model, it uh, loosens up the dirt that's in there. And uh, we actually have some Utah dirt here. We have the new BRS Sherpa here. And this thing is amazing. I've taken it out and tested. Way back there, we'll have the Escapod, which we'll walk through. We have the Dweller 15 and 13. And guys, we have the all-new Paws 21.4 here, the 16.4, as well as the 20.3 with the dinette and optional uh, fridge. Speaking of the fridges, they open both ways, so you can literally get in the fridge from the uh, shower. So if you wanna get that cold beer, you can have yourself a beer in the shower. We have a used uh, Airstream Classic 33, which I'm gonna show you. UEV 490 that's out here. So I hope you guys enjoy the tour of the South Carolina ROA Off-Road Showroom. It's awesome. Let's get this thing started, shall we? We're gonna start outside first, and we're gonna show you the Paws 16.4, which is one of my favorite campers. You have a nice outside uh, grill here, kitchen. And down in the description, I'm gonna have all of the links to Shane's complete tours. He does a walkthrough on all of these and they're an hour long and he touches on everything. Powered by Garmin, which is amazing. When you get to camp, you hit one button, it auto levels, lets the bags out, does the stabilizers, the pitch and roll, and you're all set. So this comes with two 20 pound tanks and you actually have some storage on the other side of this articulating hitch and we actually put another 20 pounder there we just got back from overland expo east and we had the 16.4 the 20.3 with the new dinette and the 21.4 and it was amazing and a shout out to everybody who stopped by the pause booth and said hello it was amazing uh, Nate and I actually did a test. You can siphon water out of a 200 foot hose with five foot of elevation. Walk around the back here. This is, you guys are gonna love this. Seen this on Shane's videos. You have all your Garmin controls, all your Victron. And then on the back of there, this comes with two with one Battleborn 270 and you can get it upgraded all the way to a 1080. And everyone's favorite is this back window that opens up even that little mountain that's in there that's even a cool touch so we'll go walk inside real quick this is awesome too because you can just open your bar and that sits right down there so amazing let's go inside real quick this is the dinette that turns in to a bed and this i have locked but man this thing moves this way this way all over the place Tons of windows. This is what I was talking about with the fridge. Opens both ways. Hey, there's that food I've been looking for from the trip. My wife asked me yesterday, she's like, where's the ketchup and mustard? So I guess I left it in here. We took this TV, it swings out, and these windows open 90 degrees. So we had the uh, TV on from our YouTube channel, which everybody loves to watch. And then you'll see in uh, Shane's video, this bed actually flips up. I'll just show it to you now. And you can tie your bikes back or down back here, so which is pretty awesome. And now I've just made a mess of the camper. Got a cool mirror with some hangers. The awesome shower. 
I'm not doing any soap tests of dropping the soap. These toilets are amazing because they're regular height. You won't be sitting on the ground with your knees around your ears. So that's a 16.4. Let's go check out the 20.3. And a lot of you already know what that stands for. 20, the first set of numbers is gonna be the length of the box. The second set is how many it'll sleep. So the 16.4 is 16 foot long, sleeps four. This is 20 foot long, sleeps three. We have the bed in, uh, or in the couch in sleep mode. As you guys know, you have a stationary bed option now and a tilt bed option now. So uh, at the show of Overland Expo East, we had this set up both ways so everybody could see how it looked. Furion, I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, microwave, three burner stove. You have an oven. I, I love this. Um, I prefer to cook on natural gas and propane, so it's amazing. And you guys ready? Here's the dinette. It's pretty awesome. Love it. We had this TV out the window as well. Opens at 90 degrees. You have your pause platform here that you can put all the different hooks in. Have your hats. Not only do you guys have outlets here that are USB standard and USB-C on both sides back here in these little cubbies here and here you have outlets which is amazing these little lights are pretty cool they turn blue first i don't know if you guys can see that but we had these aimed at the ceiling gives a nice ambiance and you press and hold and they turn white so you have some nice reading lights this way is like an ambient light but then it has a spotlight there that you can put at your books if you want to read at night huge huge i'm talking huge did i say huge skylights in here look at that one of my favorite features and there's one in the shower so can you imagine taking a shower with no with no uh, city light pollution and just looking up out at the sky it's a little cloudy here today and look at these shower heads I did not use all of these. I just used the standard ones. This is this is all too fancy for me. I'm just a standard guy. Look at that sink. So yeah, this is the 20.4. Sorry, the 20.3 with the new options of the pantry. And this has the smaller refrigerator here. Oh, and this is what I was talking about. Look, see here. You're in the shower or getting ready to take a shower and you can reach right out here and get your beer or whatever your favorite beverage is. And we'll see uh, day mode in another uh, model here in a second. So we just finished up on the 20.3. We have a UEV 490 here, which you guys will have the link in the description. You can watch the walkthrough on that one. And this is sick. It's the 21.4. The coolest feature besides the bunk beds is this storage and the battery layout. You guys are gonna love the closet. We're gonna go check that closet out. You have a little dinette in front of your table, but on all the 20 footers, this is what the couch looks like. The bed folds up back there. If you travel with uh, dogs, this is like their favorite spot. They can lay up there, look out the windows. It is a great time. So uh, there is no slide out pantry here, but it's the same fridge, same burners. They did put the Garmin here on the wall. So it's right when you walk in. So like you guys, you know, you can turn all the lights on and off. Look at this desk and this is amazing. Nice chair. You have another optional truck garmin if you want little storage here step for the kids to get up in here i had so many kids loving this and their coolest feature was that light right there is their own light they can turn off and on and they have a usb and a usb c plug right there so they can charge all their elect electronics they also get their own window so it's pretty cool because you know when you're a kid 
especially a teenager and you're camping, you want a little bit of your own privacy and things of that nature. Another huge skylight and fancy um, shower heads. They put a sink in here now, guys. Look at this. So on the 20.2, which I'll show you that we have in stock, there's no sink in the bathroom. You have to go out and use the sink in the, I guess you would call it the kitchen. Max air fans that pull amazingly. Also new, ducted heat. This, These are our four season campers now. They have ducted heat throughout. They have heated tanks. Also something for folks who've come to see us, they pulled these off and they put a little label here for access panel. So you know that's not a cabinet. Everything's metal in the pauses. There's no wood, absolutely no wood. It's all aluminum and composite material and steel with more ride suspension. Let's go to the back, shall we? Now we have this one set up in a height mode. This isn't in camp mode. When you're in camp mode, the uh, air suspension drops down and it auto levels and all that. Nate and I like to set one up so you can see the suspension extended. This is not extended all the way because if we do extend it all the way of 12 inches of travel, the stabilizers won't touch. So they have taken and consolidated the batteries and all the Victron into one little box. So now in your closet, you have all this room used or available now. Is that amazing or what? Let's walk around the other side. Extra shower on this side. Have your water filter, water pump, and there's that ducted heat throughout. Truma Aqua Go, so they're putting those in there, and then you have your Truma Heat. And then this is gonna be the back side of the kitchen. And this area right here is for storage. You can put your extra 600 watts of solar. You have your compressor there. You have a 110 plug right here, and these lights are you can set up to on push or set up as motion so when you reach in here these will actually have a little motion sensor on them more storage up here you put whatever you want up here on the top you have a bypass crank in case something happens get that going we actually put in the um anderson sway bars on this one and they're going to start building them with the spacer on this this will be moved up and i'll show you that on the 16.4 this one here is the 20.2, 20, 20 foot, gonna sleep two people. And this is actually my favorite, but I can't pull it because I don't have a big enough truck. Look at this outdoor kitchen. So you have a, a griddle and a regular grate to cook on. We actually took those off because we are um, cleaning those up. But you have a freezer outside, a fridge, a sink, USB charging 110 microwave look at this in here oh i knew i would do that hold on let me put the uh, wind hood down but that guy will open up this will slide all the way out but they put these little stoppers on here so if you're actually cooking you cannot get let's see if i can get it going here there we go and i did it wrong so if you're cooking these won't pull out over your food but you have all this space for all your goodies. Also for, I'm six foot. I don't know if you can see this or not, but if you set your ride height properly, you are not gonna hit your head and it protects you from the weather, all right? And then we'll go inside because that's pretty cool. You have a safe for your long guns as well as a fireplace and a television. You have a nice sink, countertop, induction hood. And then when we come back here, you'll see you still have the skylight in there. And you can notice that there's no sink in here. Still the same toilet. But what's cool in the closet is you have all this room. You can put fishing poles back here, tons of storage all the way back to the closet. Okay? 
I got something going on with the solar on this that I got to check out. That's what that beeping sound is. But this is definitely for our hunters. Check this out. Is that amazing or what? So you have storage there. And then you have four places to put your uh, rifles right in there. Secure those up there. This locks, of course. And nobody, unless you're an actual pause user, knows that that's a hidden compartment right there. Pretty awesome. Again, if you guys have any questions, call the number that's on your screen popping up. You can email us as well. And when you do call us, you can uh, text on that as well. Love this mirror. Check that out. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Makes the space look bigger, too. All right, on to something else. Oh, we have an HQ-21 on consignment. So we do have this guy. Really nice model. If you guys are interested in this, uh, I have a link down in the description and you can check out all the pictures on RV Trader. We have a pause being delivered. We have two X195s that have already been sold and those are ready to pick up out there at the street. We have some Dweller 15s and 13s. So we have a few Dweller 15s out here which have the bunk and we can do some modifications to these like an extra bunk bed, a sink, an induction hood, upgraded shocks, upgraded stabilizers. The biggest thing is this special cage we make so you can relocate your spare tire. And then we um, move the brake lights and put them on the back for you. So all that weight is gone off the back. So this is the standard OBI dweller here. And then this is the uh, ROA off-road upgrade. But yeah. It's awesome, got all this property. Back here on the other side of the, where you see that house, we're building a campground. So you guys can come out here when you visit and um, you know camp if you need a place to stay overnight if you're a roamer. But this is uh, our showroom building right here. There's Nate walking over there. And then I'll show you the shop up here in a little bit. But I'm gonna go inside the showroom and show you guys all the cool stuff we have inside. So now we're back in the showroom here. You guys can check out what we have here. Just got these really cool chairs. We have a little store now. You can get some shirts, some hats. We sell receivers and all kinds of cool stuff. We're ramping up. We've been at this location for about a year. So we're still building things and getting things set up. So it's pretty awesome. The BRS Sherpa. You guys know this is an Australian brand. It's now being, those guys got together here in the US and Tennessee and now they're being built here in Tennessee. So BRS is offering the Sherpa as well as the Pursuit. Links in the description as well. Everyone's favorite, the Roamer One. You're gonna get all upgraded mattresses, uh, dinette padding. You're gonna get an outdoor stove, all the tools, Axes, shovels, hoses, everything that you need to start camping. All your linens, pots, pans, toaster ovens. Basically, when you buy a Roamer One, you just need to show up with yourself, your animals, your clothes, and your food. Again, I'm going to put links down in the description. Great bed. I'm going to show you some cool solar underneath there. Or the, the batteries. A two-burner induction stove. This is what I'm talking about, nice and thick. The padding, no black tank. The Roamer One is based off the X195. We sell the X195. It just doesn't come with the outdoor stove or the outdoor kitchen or all of the stuff you need to start camping. Isotherm fridge and freezer. And like I said, you get all the pots and pans all of the dishes, you get a TV. There is a gun safe over here for you. There's all your linens. This is storage here. Let me show you this. You get everything, backup cameras. 
What am I looking for? There we go. All your silverware. This sink is absolutely amazing. You have a cutting board. You have a slider to put your, your slicings in. This guy comes out, so you basically get a whole full sink. This makes a double sink. So awesome. So awesome. The Cruise Master suspension is all worked with by a remote. Yeah, there it is. That's what I was looking for. So this is, you push these buttons and the suspension goes up and down with that. Have a little cool Bluetooth speaker. All the wood that's on the inside is imported from the UK. I'll show you this right here. Finish, this wood is like so amazing. Look at that. I love that they don't finish the edge so that you can see the quality of that wood. We have a pre-owned Patriot X1H. This is a sale pending right now, but this is available if something falls through. All the upgrades only been camped in a few times. It is on consignment as well. The Imperial Outdoors x145 now the x145 you can get in tan a sand color you can get in green or the gray here this is one of my favorites one induction stove nice big sink you're going to get um, your fridge freezer combo isotherm and then this is all storage and many customers say hey can i take these out and make a, a closet put a bar in there yes you can all 12 volt air conditioners 12 volt all the solar on the roof dry flush toilet oh, i didn't spin around and show you guys the actual shower amazing all your controls are up here you're gonna have your truma combi for your hot water heater and your furnace everything is ducted this is a four season camper. So you're gonna be able to go to negative 40 degrees to 120 degrees. LP detector, you have plugs right here. You have plugs around the corner here. This is a light switch to dim and shut off the lights around you, which is awesome. And you can dim them. Let's see, I hit the button. Yeah, there we go. It does this. So you can shut them off. When you go to sleep, you can click and hold. Let's see if I can get it to dim. You can dim the lights all by this cool little button there but as i was going back here um you're gonna have your go power inverter you can get your uh change your voltage coming in so if you're on a 30 amp plug you can put it all the way up for charging or you can send it down to like 15 uh amps coming in this is gonna be your battery monitor to let you know what you're using, how much you're using, how much time you have, as well as your input for your solar. This button here is gonna be for your light bar out front, which I'll show you. And the X195 has that stuff as well. There's your water management system there with your Cruise Master suspension. Everyone asks me what happens if the remote goes dot or dies or something like that, and you need to adjust your airbags right here. These pull off, and you can take air out or put air in to adjust if you have a malfunction. And here's that Utah dirt from everybody. Look at that. Some good stuff right there. We have the Escapod Topo 2. We are a seller and distributor of them, so we have folks that you can either order from Escapod Direct because they have all the options, so many options, guys. You can get a base model in, uh, in the mid-40s. They have a new uh, product called the Nomad. This is now called the Voyager. They're both the Topo 2, but the Voyager is going to have all of the cool stuff, the water tanks, four-season heat, and the Nomad. Uh, this start, well, Sorry, let me rewind. The Voyager is going to start in the mid-40s uh, all the way up to 70 depending on how you outfit it. I mean, it's got an air conditioner up here on the top. So you can see this, and this is a four season camper. And then the Nomad, you can get, I think in the mid thirties, 
It just was debut debuted at Overland Expo East. All galvanized frame. Wireless chargers. You have your battery cut off, your solar controller in there, your Truma Combi, hot water heater, Cy Marine management system. The only wood that's in here is the accent wood that you see. Storage here. This actually comes down. Let's see if I can get it to work with one hand. Let me reach over here and grab this. And I'll grab this. Put your laptop there. You can watch your uh, Netflix. And what's awesome is the folks at Escapod have designed this back wall at about 110 degrees so that you can sit up in bed, work with your laptop, watch your TV. Um, they come with an option of screens for the door. They have blackout screens for the windows. You have amazing trunk. They have the screen room, the awning. You can get a tent on the top, articulating hitch. So many options, so many options. So check out their website and you can deliver it straight here in South Carolina. This is a Patriot X1 with the family room that's available here as well. The 20.3, here's another one with the dinette and the pantry. And then here is the Dweller 15 that you saw out on the lot opened up. So you're gonna have your outdoor fridge, which is huge. This is a bar where you can take your interior TV and put it out here, but I usually put my coffee bar right there, outdoor kitchen. The camper, as you saw, stops here, and then it folds out, and it's a king-size bed. You can take these to national parks with uh, grizzly bears. You just have to have the top closed. But this is all metal back here, so they are bear protected. And this has a few options like the sink. There is your extra bunk, which goes up like that. Induction stove. The other bunk bed that we make goes right here and it's will sleep a six foot person king size bed giant reading lights charging stations renogy inverter all your controls are down there get this out of the way ducted heat ducted ac this is the obi dweller let me show you the wet bath a lot of people aren't fans of wet baths, but this thing is huge. The toilet is not hitting you in the back of the shin or the back of the leg. You have a sink in here as well. Vents, great little fan up there. And you can take a shower with this up here or here. You can set it there depending on how big you are. Tons of storage up here. All kinds of stuff in there. Little pockets on the side. This is a great screen door. It has, this is all metal right here. And then when you lock this from the inside, it locks here with the deadbolt, locks here with the deadbolt and locks there with the deadbolt. Maybe you can see that when it unlocks, but yeah. But you can have your dogs in there. They're not getting out and they're not coming in. This is gonna have the uh, tire relocation kit on it as well. So we have a few Dweller 15s available. Also on the side, you're gonna have an exterior shower with a privacy shower out here. So you can take a shower outside if you want. Look at this sick storage. You guys are gonna love this. Again, full tour walkthrough down in the description for the OBI Dwellers. Your cassette toilet comes out of there. It's a little rolly wheel thing that you can uh, walk around in the campgrounds with you. You have two 20 gallon fresh water tanks. They're 21 gallons, so you have a total of 52 gallons of fresh water. And then this is your outdoor shower right there. Truma Combi for your heat and your hot water. And then look, this is all metal. That's what it looks like on the inside. 
All right, this is Nate's awesome Raptor. Now we're going to go and check out this 2018 pre-owned Airstream Classic 33 that we have on the websites. They actually traded this in for a pause 20.3. I just want to show you this because it's amazing and super clean. It has a projector that comes down here. This thing has radiant heat. It has a heated towel bar. Awesome shower. It feels like the heat is on in here. I'll have to check. It feels nice and comfy. Got a nice desk here. Plugs. USB. Chair. For you to work in the office. This table is electric. It goes down so you can make it a bed. These seats recline. Your complete control system, Polk Audio. Your Adele radiant heat system, tons of storage. Stove is immaculate. A real exhaust fan that goes to the outside. Beautiful appliances, beautiful countertop. This has the queen bed in it, which is tilts. Oh yeah, the heat's on in here. I can feel it. It smells and feels so good. It's about 50 degrees today, so it's chilly, but not that, not that crazy. Let me see. Oh yeah. So this is the radiant heat that comes out. You can just feel it. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Underneath here is the Adele system uh, with the coolant that runs through that's preheated and it goes down all the sides of the camper so you can literally feel the heat coming up through all of these openings right here this thing has automatic blinds that you can put in night mode or day mode the only pull downs are the back over the kitchen and in the bedroom everything else is automatic great skylight here to brighten it up two max air fans central air conditioning you have the vents and then these guys are direct to come out absolutely beautiful refrigerator freezer we've had this inspected by a certified nrvi inspector he only found two things wrong with this it needs new batteries and new tires so we're going to put those on there for you i'll put the link in the description if you're interested in this beautiful airstream let's go walk up and show you the shop so this is the top shop, which is our service center and upgrade center. That's where we're going to have the uh, campground up there, which we're working on. So much great property. But the guy, we have four garages up here. The guys are working on campers in there right now, doing some upgrades, doing some warranty work. So if you're in the South Carolina area or near us and you need warranty work done and you're a previous customer, come on down and see us. There's a little shot of everything for you how good everything is it's amazing so we're working on some campers back here escapod getting delivered we have a pause we got our mascot pan right there he's hanging out with us today and then we have an x22 that we're doing some warranty work on and that may come up on consignment if you come and visit us we have great cell service as you can see but we are located in Duncan, South Carolina. If you're not familiar with that, look up Greenville, South Carolina. We're about 12 minutes east off of 85. It was great showing you guys the shop today. If you guys have any questions or you wanna come down and stop by, we do prefer appointments. We do have some walk-ins because we're kind of off the beaten path. But uh, give me a call or a text on the bottom number there. Visit our website. It's awesome. I'm having a great time here working at ROA Off-Road. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I did want to touch with you guys about if you don't buy from us, you buy from somebody else or you're looking at campers that you think is a better price, remember the post sale. I work for Shane and Nate because of the support they give after the sale. Personally, I bought a stick and staple camper uh, a year ago and I just let's see no it's been two years 
and it's taken 10 months for me to get my warranty work done. And I've had to fight tooth and nail to get my camper worked on. Shane and his crew, Nate and the crew here in South Carolina, we're all about post sales support. We give you guys an 800 number to call for uh, tech support online to where you can call the 800 number. Say you have an issue with your Garmin, we can take that and usually help you out right over the phone. If not, you can bring your camper to us here in South Carolina or in Utah if you're West Coast and we'll get it serviced for you, all right? It's amazing, it's great. And I love working here. Their work ethic is amazing and their values, the goals, so awesome. Again, email me. Text, call if you have any questions about any of the campers that I showed you today. Check out the website and you can see that we have other models that we don't have here right now, like the Kimberleys um, and some of the other brands that you see on our website. But we can get them all brought here to South Carolina. As always, enjoy the adventures.